Honestly, I love my kids so much. I love seeing them have fun over, over on the beach here, doing what I did when I was their age. Look how much fun they're having. As long as they're careful, I'm happy. Wanna go to the beach, guys? Beach? I think that's a yes. I think that's a yes. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Wanna go to the beach? Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> I think she's excited. How about you, Joseph? You wanna to go to the beach? You wanna to go to the beach? <laughs> I'm good, man, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Thursday. My vacation is disappearing before my eyes. No. It's all good though. Joseph met up. I'm meeting up with Kyle. We're heading out to uh, do some crabbing. Gonna dive for some Dungeness, hopefully. Having uh, fun exploring some new coastline. Uh, don't have any dungy hotspots yet in this area, so hope gonna find one eventually. Gonna hit the road with the kiddos. The kiddos are gonna hang out at the beach with Kyle's kids. Who else is coming? I think that's it. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. It's a nice van, isn't it, Sailor? Should we get one like this? Actually, I think we have the same van. Yeah. Except this one, oh, by the way, uh, Joseph is all about that van life. This is his home. This is awesome. Pimped out, man. I wish mine looked like this. Just got to uh, Qualcomm here. It was a beautiful day for a dive. We're hoping that the crabs are partying. Uh, we're gonna go and crash it. We didn't actually get the invite, but uh, yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a good night. Yeah. Party in the pot, hopefully. <laughs> Party in the pot with some Cajun <laughs> seasoning, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> we just pulled up here. It's good times already. The kids are having a blast. So is Reefy. Oh man, getting a taste of the island life, being here full time. I can't wait to start that new schedule. It sounds like it's gonna happen in June. Nine days off, five days on, and semi-retired. Gonna be doing this all, I guess not all day, every day, but most days every day. Oh, really, really awesome here. Family time, friend time. All right, we're gonna gear up and find some Dungeness. What's in there, buddy? Uh, it's, a, it's a shaker. Come here, Sailor, I'll help you. Or crab pile. Sailor. So daddy, crab pile. Whoa, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Sailor's nice ice crab. Get some I'll get some more, don't worry. Yeah, so note to self, and I suppose every other diver watching this, don't promise your kids and significant other crab when there's no real guarantees. I thought finding at least one Dungeness or Red Rock would be a sure thing, but the conditions were good from far, or at least appear that way from shore, but were far from good. Usually, the visibility can be a little murky from the surface, but clear up at depth. But the opposite was the case on this day. After swimming out a few hundred yards from shore, it became evident the visibility was not going to cooperate, and the only real chance we had in finding a crab is if one showed up right in front of our face. So, we quickly gave up. You win some and you lose some, but that's life diving in the Pacific Northwest. The real treat was just spending time with family outdoors. The kids had a blast. Sayla, Zaya, Nyla. Just realized all their names sound good together. Uh, but they were all playing on the shore. Uh, Jasmine and Jordan hanging out with uh, Joel, which is Kyle's newborn. Uh, yeah, Viz was crap though. I saw a loon in the water. It was like 10 feet away from me. I got the camera rolling just as it went down for a dive, so I missed it. But that was neat. I hadn't seen one that close before. But one positive about being on the island for a week is I get to do these dives. If I come over for a weekend, I'm not going to waste my time diving in a shallow area for crabs. But I can hit a prolific spot one day and then hit a mediocre spot the next. Prolific spot the next day, so on and so forth. Either way, fun times. Peace, love, everybody. Signing off. Much like every party I went to in high school, it was just me and two other dudes, and nothing that I wanted there, so. <laughs> <laughs> Last day of vacation. That's a bummer, but I had a good time. A lot of relaxation, got some dives in, and went on a few adventures. But right now, I'm gonna spend our last day here in Victoria and uh, doing some diving. Fred's pulling up right now. Gonna kill two birds with one stone. Gonna get the kids looking for beach class as I'm in the water. I uh, don't really expect to find much here. I don't think anyone really dives this spot. So it's not prolific, but might see some Dungeness sandy bottom. What's up, Fred? Hey, what's up? You found a spot? Yeah. How you doing? Good, and you? Oh, pretty good. I like your shirt. 
Oh, thank you, thank yeah. you. Yes. You probably shouldn't pick those. No. But they're very pretty. Like you have this? Yeah, how about you give it to Mama? Mm? She'll love it. Mommy! In all honesty, I had a solid chat with Sayla after this about not picking flowers or disturbing wildlife. Her heart was in the right place, but she's still learning. What's that, buddy? You want me to carry you? You got it? You just got that right now? Yeah. Look at that, look at that. It's like a little purple heart. That's amazing. Oh, I don't even want to dive anymore. Hey, Fred. There's uh, there's too much sea glass here, man. I, I don't think I'm going to dive. Sorry. I keep seeing on uh, Facebook people finding octos in these tide pools. So keep in a keen eye from now on. You see any, uh, Fred? Oh, in goes Reef. Look at him go. Reef, you gotta be careful. He's like, he's like, I'm cold. Every time I dive around this area, I go to Ogden Point. So excited to jump into a new spot. I know there is quite a few dive spots in this general area, but you know, it's hard to deviate from the ones that you know are gonna be prolific. It's gonna be fun though. We were off to a good start. Check out this decorated crab, crazy. Be careful while walking on kelp. It's easy to slip and there could be urchins to step on right below. That's a lesson I'll learn on a future video. I can't say it was a fun experience. We had some nice calm conditions. I love diving new areas, even if they're not overly exciting. I'm not positive on the species, but these tube snot fish are pretty fascinating. I was thinking we'd find some Dungeness crab, but besides a few undersized red rock, there wasn't too much to harvest other than these hairy helmet crab. I've cooked these guys up while in Alert Bay last year, and the larger ones have a decent amount of meat that's super tasty. Helmet crab fall under other crab in the DFO regulations. King crab, red rock, and Dungeness have a combined daily limit of four, but other crab also have a daily limit of four. Harvesting a kelp crab or helmet crab does not subtract from your combined daily limit of king crab, red rock, or dungeness. I'm not suggesting that everyone needs to go and obtain their limit, but you don't yield much meat from, let's say, a kelp crab. However, if you add four to, say, one dungeness, you got yourself a decent meal. Shore crab have a daily limit of 75, but I've yet to harvest those. Make sure to check the regs as shore crab are closed around the lower mainland. I spotted a beastly greenling. I wasn't planning on doing any spear fishing, but I ran out of fish on the mainland, so I figured, hey, why not? To say this was a personal best would be an understatement. Oh, wow. Dude, <laughs> is that huge? Dude. Pretty good shot, too, right through yeah. the head. I've never seen a green like that big. You see a sea urchin? Where is it? Right down there. Don't, don't punch it, okay? <laughs> Pretty fun spot. We uh, didn't do too great out there, but I found this greenling nestled under a rock. This thing's huge. I thought it was a lingcod at first. I'm like, no, that's not a lingcod. That's a greenling. He called Fred over, and he lent me his gun. I knew where it was and got him on the first attempt. But yeah, by far the biggest I've seen slash shot. That'll uh, make some nice ceviche. I'm going to maybe cook this up tomorrow. Uh, yummy. Also did pretty good with the crabbing. Got a kelp crab there, and I found a bunch of these uh, helmet crabs. I cooked these up in Alert Bay once, and they're really, really tasty. You don't get a whole lot of meat off them, but they're pretty cool looking creature. Uh, hey, Sayla. And uh, yeah, between uh, all four, be able to make a nice meal. Maybe even throw some of this meat in the ceviche as well. See if crab make good ceviche. Uh, but yeah, really fun time out there. Thanks, Red, for joining. I'm gonna go look for beach glass now. I need some pizza. Reef's been standing there for like five minutes. Go for it. Eight years going strong. Actually, yeah, seven years, eight years in August. That's kind of neat. A little piece of wood. I don't know what I would do with it, but I'm gonna keep it. I feel like I could be artistic with something like this. Neat. Do you see what I see? Doesn't look like it, but that's dark purple. And there's our kiddos loving life. Every minute of it. Well, that's a wrap here. We did pretty good on the combing fun. A lot of purple pieces in there, blue pieces. Jasmine found a really cool yellow one. I haven't seen that color. I found a little piece of pottery there. 
uh, valuable list treasure. That's trash. Is another treasure. Thank you to all the people in the past that lived in the ocean because these are gems of the sea now. See, I found the kitty cat. Look at it over there. I've actually never seen her with a cat before. Come on, baby, we gotta go. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't blame her now. She can hang up for, for a little bit with that cat. That's cute. We're here at the final spot before we catch a ferry back to Tawasin. We are on the eight o'clock. We are gonna try to get an earlier ferry, but apparently they're all booked up. So we're killing time here at Moses Point. Beautiful spot. I haven't been here before, to be honest. We killed some time at Sydney too. Uh, Sailor grabbed the frappuccino. Was that good? Was that a good frappuccino? Yeah. Yeah, she enjoyed it. And we just walked around. All the shops are closed, but not a big deal. Uh, beautiful area. I am not looking forward to going back to work. Having a week, week off was exactly what I needed. Spending really good time with the family, doing some trips with Joseph, hanging out with friends, uh, Kyle and his family as well, and Alex. Really good time. So thanks everybody for watching. Signing up for the evening, I think. And uh, peace and love, like always. All right, Sailor, you good? You gonna go have fun now? All right, love you. I've fallen behind on editing, but I'm slowly catching up. Life hit me like a ton of bricks, and I needed a little time away from the computer screen. I'm happy to say that my Airbnb suite is live and listed. Feel free to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. I've been grinding away for the last three months, but I think it's finally time to relax. I'm excited for the future. Peace and love, everybody.